Dan, it seemed like uh, early in the game you started reasonably well, but then probably missed some chances through poor execution, and it seemed to go downhill after that. I think, uh, you know, full credit to the Lions. I thought they were the, the better team tonight. Uh, that showed in the scoreboard. Um, I think we'll go away from that game, ruining those opportunities that we didn't take in the first half. I think the first 20 minutes, um, we ran our, our game plan really well, um, but we, we failed to capitalise on the opportunities we were given. Um, we couldn't mount any scoreboard pressure. Uh, and then, you know, things looked a little bit too easy for, my, for mine in the second half, where the, the Lions really got going in terms of their set piece and their line out attack uh, in that uh, close to our line. So, full credit to them. Better team tonight in a number of areas, and uh, they deserve the win. Oops, were they the, the best team you played this year? They're a different team. Look, what they were able to do was, was stick to their game and their plan A um, that we spoke about in the week and, and it wore us down. Um, it wore us down and we weren't, uh, we probably went away from ours, particularly when they, they got their second try. Um, we just didn't stick to the game plan and probably, um, you know, allowed them to, to stay in our area and stay to the things that they're good at. Uh, no, I can't. But, you know, I, I tell you what, I don't think... Um, I don't think it was too different from the way we've started in the last couple of weeks. You know, I think, like I alluded to that question before, maybe, maybe not getting the points there in the first half, and, you know, we did that against the Reds. We weren't able to get points in the first half. Um, that just got, got on top of us in the back, back end of the game, um, not being able to capitalise, uh, and then them just being able to build that pressure on us. And, and then we're looking around going, what, Jesus, still why, why don't we have any points on the board, you know, um, when we feel like we're on top. But... You know, in saying that, I was in there at half-time, full confidence, even with 20 minutes to go, that we could have won, won that game. That's where our guys' heads are at, and the scoreboard um, is, is ugly, unfortunately. Um, but I think a few tweaks there will be good for us. Now, do you think that second try they scored with Quagga Smith, it seemed like he might have dropped the ball over the line? Are you disappointed mm. that wasn't referred at all? Or? Well, I think it, it, everyone missed it. Yeah. And it wasn't until late that uh, you, you kind of go, OK, well, possibly that might have been a knock-on. But, you know, all the officials, even I, you know, I only saw it late as well. So, uh, end of the day, that wasn't the reason we lost the game. You know, that was a, a, a trial that might not have been. No, no, not at all. I thought, uh, you know, as I said, that first half, you know, 7-0, uh, not coming away from that half with any, any sort of points. Uh, that was that was telling, uh, and then in the second half, not really being able to exert enough pressure, uh, and succumbing to to the pressure that the lines will, will put on you at the scrum, and then at the line up drives. So, you know, as I said, beaten by a better team in, in a, uh, a number of areas, and they deserve their win. You spoke about this game being a good test to see where the sides are. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a lot away from this game in terms of uh, the learning and extracting that. Um, is it a true reflection of where our side's at? I'm not sure. I think uh, one thing we will do is really have a, a good close look at uh, how, we, how we come away from this game with um, those learnings. And I think if we can integrate them into how we play and come against teams who are who are going to do this more often to us with a strong set piece, um, how we combat that. Yeah, no, we will stick to our plan. Um, we won't train till Thursday, Friday. Um, and then it'll be a, you know, a, a good test. I know there's a lot of soul searching going on in our changing room. Uh, and it's good for us. You know, we've had a, a decent run. Um, we've come up well short tonight. You know, that's part of the journey that we're on, and we've got to uh, learn from that and get better from it. So you know, it's all part of the season. One of the things you, you feel like you most need to address heading into that block of games after the bye against the Kiwis? Uh, well, you know, I think we're creating enough you know, in terms of uh, making line breaks. Uh, what we're not doing well is really finishing those uh, and you know, providing the, the real killer punch. Uh, we've, we've shown in games, uh, if, we, if we don't do that and we turn the ball over a lot, you know, that's, that can be telling on us.
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be right. I mean, um, this week will be good for us. Uh, the next couple of days, you know, like Daryl said, and, and today will be, will be a bit of soul-searching, but, you know, we, we'll make the pact to move on, um, really draw from the, the stuff we did well and, and the little improvements we can make or the you know, substantial improvements we can make to, to move forward because we are in a good position. We've got guys who are super keen to get better um, and enjoying, enjoying the process. Um, so we move on. That's what we've got to do. Tonight's over. Daryl, is, is it Rowan Chalker playing back that first game after the ball? Yeah, so he, he was close tonight, but you know we've got some big games coming up, and we're halfway. You know, so he's a, a definite chance for for the Blues game, uh, and we'll see see where he is. Uh, Dempsey, yeah, he's still a still a um, a fair way off. We'll get him back this year, this this season. That'll be great. Um, no other niggles. You know, it's a shame we've got to buy. Let's put it that way. Yeah, it's burning. Um, got to take those opportunities. Um, it's a, you know, they're top of the conference. Um, weren't able to keep the pressure on them. They're gonna, they're gonna run away with it. So um, disappointing, but we certainly did, like Daryl said, create opportunities. Uh, Navarro is one of the guys that you guys look to to spark in attack or just to go forward a bit more. He was easily shut down tonight. Will look like he was easily shut down. Is that something that you guys will do coming up to New Zealand team? Yeah, it's obviously you know from a coaching perspective is how we use him best. You know, I think we tried tonight to use him in close quarters, uh, and he was less effective than he has been in the last few games. So I think for us, we go back to the drawing board, look at how we can provide that space for him, where he's far more uh, dangerous.